Shalom Aleichem, now the viewers, this is Rav Heshi Reichman, and we're continuing with our lectures, series, concerning the Hasidic perspectives about marriage. Our shir is dedicated to the memory of Rochele Basheb Chaim Tzviolah Shalom. In this particular shir, we're going to discuss uh, a continuation of what we spoke about the first year, and that's the divine aspects of marriage. <coughs> and we'll show how the meeting with divinity, which is at the core of Jewish marriage, especially in Hasidic thought, has three levels of, of that meeting, of that experience. And we'll try to show some parallels uh, and, and things besides marriage and also bring it uh, perhaps down to earth in a practical way for us to live our marriages uh, in a divine way. And the Shem Shmuel begins on page Reish Samach Gimel in his book on uh, Bamidbar with a well-known Halacha, <coughs> in which the halacha develops three levels or three stages of marriage. <coughs> the Kedushin, the Chuppah, and the Yichud. These are three halachic levels in which we develop the marriage from its inception to its totality. First is Kedushin. Kedushin literally means making holy. And it's been mistranslated many times in English, and I don't really know a good word for that in English. It's a, it's a unique Jewish concept, a Torah concept, and maybe has no translation. But the word Kedushin, clearly, as the Gemara says, is related to the word Hegdish which means sanctification, holy. Holy things in the temple, in the base of Mikdash, are called Hegdesh. Uh, the city of Yushalayim is called Irakodesh, the holy city. And marriage, first stage, is Kedushin, holiness, sanctification, particularly of the bride, who is the Miskadeshes, who becomes sanctified by her husband, who is the Makadesh, who sanctifies her. And this creates the first stage of marriage. This is done by the ring ceremony, in which he gives her the ring, in front of two witnesses, and pronounces the short phrase, Hare at mukudeshes li, you are sanctified, betrothed to me, in the first stage of marriage. And she says yes, accepts the ring, and she becomes a Mukudeshes. The second stage of marriage is the chuppah, mm -hmm. under the canopy in which the bride stands with her husband. She walks around him seven times as a custom. And that's the second stage. She becomes halachically at that point called nesua a full married wife, or Bishus Habal. She's now in the uh, house domain of her husband. They have set up a home together, which is represented by the chuppah, by this canopy in which they stand together. It's their new symbolic home. And that's the second stage. And halakhically, things are developing from stage one to stage two. And finally, the third stage of the marriage, according to Halacha, is the Yichud. In that Yichud, he and she, the Chasna and the Kala, go into a private chamber in which they bond and become completely united, and it's called Yichud, which, you know, which is related to the word Yachad, which means together, which also related to the word yachid, one. So together they become one. They are misyached, 
they are alone, yachad, together, in a yichud, in becoming a oneness, and this is called a, the third and the final stage of marriage. As it says in the Chumash, for hoyu levoso echad, Adam and Eve become one flesh. Now, this is halacha, and those of us who study halacha should know many, many levels and halachos and dinim and rules and regulations about stage one, stage two, stage three, how these things are performed, what happens in terms of the relations, halachic relationships of husband and wife in stage one, stage two, stage three. But for our 